Hello everybody. Today I want to answer the million dollar question that many, many, many of you have asked me. The question is, will X replace Y? So for example, um, I don't know, will GraphQL replace REST? Will, JavaScript, will TypeScript replace JavaScript? Will WebAssembly replace JavaScript? Will Flutter replace React? Uh, these questions are very valid and very important questions to be asked, but the answer is, um, in my opinion, all of them, I don't think so, and I hope not. The reason why I hope not is because I don't want to have one thing that is the only way of doing things. example, we have something like GraphQL and we have something like REST. They're both accomplishing almost the same thing, which is communicating client with server. Um, I don't want GraphQL to replace REST because I think that REST is still a valid choice when I don't want to have to write types and blah, blah, blah and I want to do it super quickly, right? That is, for example, when I will use REST. I don't want something replacing something or the community disappearing um, because that just encourages tribalism, which is like people choosing sides and people thinking they're into teams. Like for example, I am in the React team. I like the React community. I hope React becomes better, faster, stronger, and I hope Vue decreases. Or the opposite. I hate React. I, wanna, I want Vue to win, blah, 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 blah. There is no point in doing that, and it doesn't help us as developers. Uh, we shouldn't see these libraries or way of doing things as a team that we put, we put a shirt on and we're like, all right, I'm a React developer. Uh, we should use see these things as tools in a toolbox and we should be happy with the fact that there are many things, new things and different ways of doing things. For example, I've been looking a lot into Flutter lately, which is Flutter is something like React Native, but with different, it's not JavaScript and it's not React, it's different. And many people are like freaking out like, oh, will this replace React Native? Why did I learn React Native for? I shouldn't have learned React Native. I should go for Dart, for Dart and Flutter, blah, blah, blah. That's not the point. The point is we should be happy the fact that now there are two ways of making um, multi-platform applications. Um, we should be happy that there are two ways of doing things and now we have one more thing on our toolbox. Um, competition is okay. And having many things um, that do the same thing is good because that means you have options. If you don't like the way React Native works, now you can go for something like Flutter. And this is um, this is good because this breeds innovation and this breeds um, kind of a competition in the healthy sense. So when you say, oh, will Flutter replace React Native? I don't think so and I hope not. They accomplish almost the same thing, they do it differently and that's a good thing. The fact that we can choose now, it's a good thing. Before, for example, we only had REST. We couldn't choose, it was the only way, it was boring. Now we have GraphQL. Now it's like, all right, let's try this new. This is a new thing, let's try it. Now we have two alternatives, which is great. Um, if you don't like React, go to Vue. Maybe you will like that better. If you don't like Vue, maybe go to Mithril or, I don't know, Preact, I don't know, whatever. But that's, that's a good thing, to be able to do things in a different way. So, with that question, will serverless replace serverful? Will graph replace rest? With all that stuff, I don't think so, and I hope not. Um, by memory, I can only say that one technology that replaced the other one was maybe HTML5 replaced Flash. But that's a different case. It wasn't like a library or something like that. Um, so yeah, that was my opinion. Let me know what you think. If you're a beginner, don't try to go and choose the the winner team. Don't try to choose the one that has the most downloads, the one that, just try to choose the one that takes you closer to your goal. And the industry will change super quickly. So also get ready for that. Things are going to change. They're going to change very quickly. Today we're here. Today we have React Native and Flutter. Tomorrow we're gonna have other thing. I don't know, today we have GraphQL. Can you imagine where we're gonna be in one year? It's gonna be crazy where we're gonna be in one year. I cannot even imagine the amount of things that are going to change. Thank you for watching. Leave, leave a like if you like this video. Leave a comment telling me what you think, if you think I'm wrong, if you think I'm right. Uh, that's it. Bye-bye from Nicolas. All right, I'm gonna go eat kimchi now. See you.